early for this. Look what y'all niece did. I'm sitting here trying to peel this damn sticker off the refrigerator because she decided that this was a good place to stick it. Uh, it was trying to tear at first, but now it's coming off pretty easy. Oh. She was trying to show y'all that Pokemon stuff yesterday. Oh, man. So today is Thursday. Um, activities, they have swimming today. Uh, Corey starts at 5. Her class starts at 5. And uh, Kane and Cody's class starts at 5.45. Bernie is doing swimming today, so I don't have to worry about that. I have a podcast interview at 5 Mountain Time, which is 7 Eastern Time. So I need to probably cook dinner. Oh, I cook dinner before um, that so that I can, I don't have to do it after. But I picked up this Dunkin' Coffee because I really want to try out, I want to try to make iced coffee because the Dunkin' Iced Coffee is so good. So I'm like, let me try this one more time to see if it'll work. I feel like I can't send it back now. I waited too late. It's been more than 30 days, so I have to keep it. Um, I didn't really show y'all this, but this is like an iced coffee maker. So essentially, you put the coffee grounds into this part, and then you fill this part with water. You put this in here, and it steeps like tea inside of here. So give it like 24 hours, and you'll have iced coffee um, or cold brew. Cold brew, I'm sorry, not iced coffee, cold brew. So that is what I'm trying to do, make some cold brew. I got the Dunkin' coffee because the Dunkin' coffee at Dunkin' be hitting. The ice, the um, iced coffee there is so good. So, oh, and I guess it's because they make it, like, it, they have cold brew too, but they also have iced coffee. So maybe I should be brewing it. Maybe I should be using hot water. Maybe I should boil the water and then pour it in here and then pour that because I don't have a coffee maker anymore. I wonder if that, because iced coffee is literally hot coffee that is now cold. Like you brewed it hot, but now it's cold. And this coffee is made to be brewed hot. So maybe I should use boiling water. Like that might fix my issue. Why not try it? Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and log on to work real quick. Um, I don't have to work until 10 today. My supervisor said it was okay to log on between nine and 10. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna log on it. Well, not right now it's 920. So I'm just checking to see what's happening and make sure nothing's getting missed. There's nothing important going on. But after that, oh, it's a whole bunch of emails. Lord. Okay, please hold. Let me check these emails and then we'll get back into this. All right, y'all, it only took me a couple minutes to get that done. Now, let's get some water boiling so we can make some iced coffee. Comment below, what is the weather like where you are? Is it getting cold where you are? I'm on the East Coast, I'm in Virginia, and it's definitely starting to get cold here. Well, no, 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 let me not say that. Okay, so it was, it is, today's weather I think is like 70 degrees, which coming from Florida is cold. <laughs> so I'm like struggling. And it's also gloomy. That's making it worse. It looks cold outside because the sun ain't shining. I'm supposed to be taking Cody to Dave and Buster's. So I checked the weather uh, to meet her friends. So I checked the weather. And this weekend it's going to be 80 degrees almost. So And sunny. So it'll be feeling good again. Okay. Got the water. Let's boil it. Also need to wash this because apparently my kids don't know how to properly wash dishes when they have to not use the dishwasher. Oh, and one thing I didn't mention about this is that it's glass. So, is it? I think it's glass. If it's not glass, it's plastic that feels like glass. <laughs> but if it's glass, which I think it is, then it won't um, stain and stuff. So just wanted to point that out. 
I have not put this in my Amazon storefront yet because I haven't made a successful batch of coffee with it. But if I'm able to successfully make some coffee in it, then I'll link it for y'all to get if y'all want it because I don't like promoting stuff that um, I haven't had success with. All right, so now that it's clean, let me lower y'all a little bit. All right, now that it's clean, I'm gonna um, go ahead and start making the actual coffee. So I think what I'm gonna do is put the coffee in here and then pour the water directly over the coffee. And then we'll refrigerate it and have some iced coffee in a couple hours when it cools down. Yeah, oh my gosh, this smells exactly like the Dunkin', uh, like the coffee at actual Dunkin'. And I don't care what nobody say, Dunkin' got better coffee than Starbucks. And you can just fight somebody else about that because Starbucks coffee is not good. To me anyway, I don't think it tastes good. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it directly in here. I don't know. I don't know how much I'm supposed to pour. I feel like since I'm brewing it this time, I could probably do a lot less. I think this is 64 ounces total. So I'm gonna go pretty heavy handed on the coffee. Cause my issue when I made the cold brew was that it wasn't strong enough. It didn't really taste like nothing. I told y'all about the cereal and buying um, like how certain cereals have trisodium phosphate, which is a cleaner, it's toxic, blah, blah, blah. These. <laughs> are so good if you like I would say even if you don't like frosted mini wheats try out this cinnamon roll flavor if you like it's kind of like a, a cross between cinnamon toast crunch and frosted mini wheats like they're really really good I personally I can do a frosted mini wheat like I'm fine with that it's not the best cereal you will ever taste but I like how filling it is and how real it tastes because you know it's like actual whole grains <laughs> which is why it's so filling um, but the ingredients are whole grain wheat sugar cinnamon brown rice syrup gelatin natural flavor soybean oil and bht for freshness freshness um, which is a preservative so that is a very light <laughs> pull the cereal that you that you feed your kids on a, on a regular basis out of your pantry or your cabinet or whatever and or off the top of your fridge and um, read the ingredients and see if it, ha it has like six ingredients like this. And this tastes really, really good. So I would highly recommend this. Now how am I gonna pour it in here without making a mess? That's the question. Put it on top of this towel and then we are gonna spoon it in. All right, so now that this is done, y'all, this is the entire pot of water that I boiled. This is making me like consider drinking a cup of hot coffee. I haven't had a cup of hot coffee in so long. Um, I'm trying to say, I'm sorry, y'all. I think that now that I got all of the water in here, it's fine. I think I could probably just pull this out. Yep. Oh, uh, maybe I should do a little more water.
moment of truth because if this ain't good, I'm going to Starbucks for this last buy one, get one free. Oh, excuse me, this last buy one, get one free day because today's Thursday, September 28th. Today's the last Thursday in September. If you know about that BOGO deal, then you know. Buy one fall drink, get one free. If this ain't good, I will be going there to get my drink or going to uh, Dunkin' one of them. Oh, it's good. Uh, mm. It tastes like Dunkin'. There's something about the flavor of Dunkin's iced coffee is so good. Like, I don't know what they do. Yeah, Starbucks could never. <laughs> Starbucks could never. Dunkin' coffee tastes so much better, like the actual coffee. Not the stuff they put in it, even though in my opinion, the stuff they put in it is good too, but the actual coffee is so good. Mr. Spot right here. Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. If we get a little bit of pink cheese on here. All right, y'all, I'm so excited. When I say these smell and look so good, look at the bottom. It's like perfectly cooked. Oh my gosh, mm. Mm -hmm. so good this is supposed to be a copycat recipe for the starbucks cheese danish and i've never had that but this 
it's so good it'll be better once it cools down because the flavors will like marinate but it's so good